I'm here with Alberto Grassi. We're tasting his white wines from Etna, the volcano, Sicily. And you know, a lot of people just think about Etna for red wines, but I really like his whites besides his reds. What I like about the whites is they're complex, minerally, floral. They sort of remind me of like a Pouligny Marache in the style, that minerality, the texture, the ripe fruit, the acidity. So why don't people know about the whites of Etna? You know, because uh, in the past, uh, wine uh, was red, because it was like, like food, especially here on Etna, but everywhere in the world. And so people, they wanted to plant uh, red grape. So this was considered the most important uh, wine zone on Etna, because it was the most important zone for red. But now we are also doing white wine, and uh, the, the soil, the weather permit us to, to have at the same time drinkability, minerality, uh, vibrant wine, but at the same time the maturity, ripeness of, uh, you know, give us the, the richness and the simplicity. And it's not Chardonnay. It's not Chardonnay, it's Caricante, because we, we must go on with our history, with our tradition, to find uh, something unique. And do you think that the, the, the white varieties here, the white grape types, can actually uh, communicate the minerality, the unique soil and climate of Etna? Yeah, I think that uh, this is very important because not all the grapes are able to express this minerality. Carigande is able to do that. It's like for, with the red uh, grape, no? if you compare Nerello Mascalese and, and Nerello Cappuccio. Nerello Mascalese is able to give this uh, mineral expression to the wine and Cappuccio is not able to do that. And this is very important. Caricante and Nerello Mascalese are the great vehicle to express the terroir because they are able to avoid themselves thanks to the terroir. Fantastic.